to drone or not to drone? That's the question we have for today. Anyway, so the use of cello drones. Why and when do we use them and what could be the possible dangers of it? Hello there, I'm Ilya Laparev Cellist and in today's video I will give you my honest review and opinion about the use of cello drones. So make sure that you're still until the end to hear my conclusion about it. If this is the first time that you come across my channel and you like the videos I'm making, then consider to subscribe. Now let's start with the why. Why should we, or at least some of us, use them? Because by playing together with cello drones is a very effective and enjoyable way to develop a crucial thing and your best weapon. And that best weapon is your ear. And by developing your ear, you will definitely improve your intonation. To use a drone is also extremely helpful when you're doing scales in order to hear the perfect pitch. And if you are playing out of tune with a drone, it's much easier to adjust things. Besides, a cello drone adds a harmonic element, which increases the musicality when you're playing scales or a certain passage that you're working on. So in other words, it just feels like a therapy and things just go smooth and nice. It's quite funny because I never used drones in my entire life. And I actually discovered drones because of a student of mine that is using for playing scales. So my first opinion about it is was I was not a huge fan of it and a video that I made before I made it very clear that I'm not a huge fan of it. I am not against it, but I don't really, really recommend you to do that. But there's always a but. It changed my mind because this is really a great tool for people that don't have their ears naturally developed so this is really a great tool to improve and also if you want to have much more fun in practicing scales which is not always the most exciting thing then this is for you now let's go into the when when do we use these cello drones and this i actually kind of responded in the previous section but let me repeat again cello drones it's great when your ears are not naturally developed and the drone gives you the ability to hear things very clear and now we come to the negative point of it so the dangerous thing about cello drones in my opinion actually the bad news is actually not that bad it's just you need to be careful that you don't get addicted to it as it feels delicious to play along with the drone, we get used to it. But when we take the drone away, we get completely unsecure and we start to swim around, which is the same thing with finger tapes, the tapes that you put on the cello when you are beginning. My suggestion is practice as much as you want with these drones. But when you come to a certain point that your ears are already developed, take it away so you don't get used to it. Okay. Now, where can we find these cello drones? Very easy, just type in the YouTube search bar for cello drone C in case if you want to play something in C major or C minor, like a scale perhaps. Spotify also has cello drones, so you just need to put cello drone into the search bar. But I will leave a few links in the video description below, so you click on it and you will be directed immediately to this cello drone. Now, my conclusion about the use of cello drones. It's an amazing tool. It's a great tool, especially for beginners, especially for people that don't have their ears developed yet. And it's so much fun to play along with it. It feels that like you are playing with someone else. Well, kind of. So I really don't have negative feedback about it. Only the thing that don't get used to it. So don't get addicted to it. Don't make it a habit. Well, and here it goes. Some people wanted to know my personal opinion about the use of cello drones. And I hope that this information was helpful for you. Let me know in the comment section below if you are using cello drones and what are your experiences with it? Do you like it? Do you feel it useful or not? Please do me a favor, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Otherwise, have a good one and definitely check out my next video where I compare two of my top instruments. My first instrument, which is the 1763 from Jean-Baptiste Lefebvre and this guy over here, which is the 2021 by Julio Cesar Vesper and Brazilian Luthier. One of the best cello comparison videos that you will find on YouTube. So I'll see you over there. Bye bye.